Um, I'm gonna show a little bit of my work uh, because I've worked on a lot since last time I streamed. So this has not been changed. I just wanted a reference. Um, this obviously did these small minor details of shading, but those are the only um, darker colors. We're not doing color yet, so for this scene, that's it. These I didn't didn't use it. So <clears throat> again, we're we're using that same method for the road. I'm actually going to cut this off digitally when it's time. Um, this is a computer. This is a jar, glass jar. Besides that, I didn't see any other dark values necessary. Um, road again. This one I really like. So I used some of the darks with grays and that white for a more in a, a more three D look. But I did less detail here, here. So as you zoom in, you get more of the shading. Um, and then the silhouette turned out really well here. You can definitely see what's going on. And then uh, again, same method for the road, which is a bit light. Yeah, it's a bit light. Let's add let's add a little bit to that. So what I'm gonna do see make sure you can see my watercolors. I'm gonna go up here. I'm just gonna get a bunch of it. And then I'm gonna take the brush get the water out and then get as much as I can on there that's better hope everyone's having a good day today I am having a good day had a really good weekend straight as we can okay I like that better it's darker we'll let that dry then I did the road here which I was particularly proud of how this turned out because the Sun is like hitting the back so you get that shadow from I'm actually gonna add this in here just ever so lightly So you're getting that shadow. Let's go ahead and connect that. And then you get that shadow forwards as well. And it gives, gives that feel of sun at their backs. And then this was hard because I had the flashlight, so I had to think about shadow that way and shadow this way. Um, that turned out okay. And then the same here. And this next page, I really like how it turned out because there's the, the fireplace and I really extend that shadow out. So imagine later having that those basketball floor wood colors 
but then also that that warmth from the fire extending out towards the the blackest dark area i think that'll be really neat and then this one turned out well as well so i'm really happy with how the silhouettes turned out the hardest thing with silhouettes is sometimes they feel like a blob the, but you need to be able to tell what shapes are doing what they are and i think those turned out really well um, I decided not to do the glass here because I'm not sure where I want the light to come from for that shot. Since there's a silhouette here, I was thinking in general maybe the sun's going down, so maybe this the light's like behind it shining through, which would be a different color than that dark gray I had on the page before. And then there's just the final page. I've been working on this one. We're going to work on this one today. This one's a little more difficult, and I'll explain in a second. So this is a dream sequence. He fell asleep and he's dreaming about his dad. And so what I'm going for here is this will be black, this like cloud type thing. And then I'm gonna have stars here to show it's night and that he's dreaming. And then I haven't figured out what I wanna fill here, I thought just like a foggy haze type thing, but here you can tell it's a basketball game. They're looking at the court. Um, and then everything else, I think I'll leave background out of this, background out of that. And I might just have kind of a foggy haze thing here. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. So this might not be super fun to watch, but I gotta get these dark areas around the edges and we're not going to use watercolor for this because I want it to be dark like night and I don't want to do this digitally this page is a dream which means before bot and if it's before bot we're not gonna have that artificial digital feel of him with bot. Um, all memories will be that traditional watercolor. Um, so when we go back with colors, we'll actually be coloring all, all, of the, all of the page in watercolor. There won't be any digital. And that's just to cement the idea in the reader's head, subconsciously maybe, that when bot's around, the characters are digital and when he's not around everybody's traditional everybody's less tech technological uh, which is kind of a cool idea and it re-emphasizes the point of the story visually which is sometimes hard to do but if you can it really helps your storytelling in a visual story to find ways to re-emphasize the theme of things that you're trying to talk about. I was able to get a lot of pages done compared to where I was. I had done two pages on stream. And that other page that you saw, the final page, I added all the, let me show that real quick. I didn't show that on stream last time. That's not what you saw. It was just this weird bland thing, but I've done a lot to it. So I added like a road scene. We have the grates of the sewer we have trash cans here we got a light another light a sewer here and then i used this um acrylic paint pen to give this white look to the crossroads walkway and then i did these street corners and kind of aged everything a bit I even splattered some black paint in here just a little bit and i think it gives it a nice look of course, this will be digital, and this will be digital later. 
but I think the overall scene that I'm setting is really nice. I really like how it turned out. Very much landed um, in the spirit of what I was going for, which put me has put me a little bit at ease about the whole watercolor process, because like I said when we started, it was new to me. I don't know a whole lot about watercolor. I'm learning as I go a little bit, but that'll make it unique because I haven't had a lot of training. And unique can be bad, but as long as I stick with the basic principles of color theory and shading and all those things, it'll translate. I just gotta remember and keep reminding myself to keep it simple. Um, as soon as I overcomplicate things, it becomes hard for the reader to follow along in a visual scene. never want too much going on unless that's your goal. If your goal is to show busyness, then yes, have tons of things to look at, almost like a Where's Waldo, but I'm not going for that anywhere, and I don't want that, because I want this man to feel alone in his world, because that's, that's part of my story that I'm trying to tell. I know this isn't the most fun to watch, but it's just showing the process. Sometimes it's just putting down black color around a scene. Um, and hey, you have a video that you might be watching back, and if you are, just see where I got done <laughs> and skip forwards, because this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing this around the whole page. I'm not sure how I want to do the stars yet because I don't want to do what I, I don't want to use um, this that I used on the crossroads. It just doesn't, it doesn't always come out of the pen like I'd like. So it's good for a distressed white look, but stars are usually bright and vivid. I want them to look better. So I'm gonna to have to figure out another solution for the white on black. I, I need to think about it more before I decide how I want to approach that. It's a nice playlist. This is a uh... What? Harris Heller? He did a recent winter beats. I like it because it's chill and there's no surprises. So I put it at the top of my playlist. So you might be hearing this one a bit more. This album, I mean, not this song. these pens these brush pens just flow
Also, I stopped going back and forth from the back to the front once I realized kind of what my style was and what I was doing. I've just been trying to stay consistent and simple with these three colors until all the dark values are done, but I, I think I'm gotten the hang of it to the point where I don't need to go back and forth anymore. It's consistent. I've looked at the pages and they all look very similar in style. I'm not adding more detail to some than others. Uh, unless it's a page like this where it's all watercolor. Of course, that's going to have a little bit more dark value than something where I'm not coloring the characters. You'll notice I didn't put much dark value on the characters, just the lining. And that's because I, I like, and you'll see this when I do digital work on the characters, I like the shading to be just a variation of the skin color or the metal color um, for bot and let that shading speak out rather than these really dark shading elements um, with blacks. That doesn't necessarily fit how our skin shows shading. It's more just a different tone of the, the skin tone. notice I've been turning the paper it's to keep these lines straight straight ish because that wrist movement is unnatural when I'm coming down this way but when I'm pulling up it's much easier to control otherwise you get jagged lines I don't want that
got these markery type lines around here. That's fine. Remember, we're going for watercolor look. Digital, it wouldn't do that, but that's okay. So now I have to think about where else do I want there to be less color? And I think I'm gonna choose people's heads here. I'm doing that, I'm choosing this because I want there to not be any focus on the crowd as far as color is concerned. I want your eyes to stay on them. So this scene may look slightly um, black and white. That's okay. Might do a, a muted version of the kicks floor right here with the color of the the kicks, AKA Knicks, but you know, NBA copywriting and blah, blah, blah. I just don't wanna get in trouble <laughs> with anybody. I don't know if that's allowed or not. So I just changed the name to kicks. It's a fictional basketball team in New York. I made up that sounds a whole lot like the real one. and the circles don't look like people and you'd be right but I would be right in saying the focus isn't on the people it's on the characters and when you focus on that you gotta take away focus from something else so now we're gonna switch colors and go with a slightly darker gray and do these people way back here to give the idea that the shading is harder like the lighting is harsher down there since everybody's kind of in the dark and the court will be in the light been to a basketball game you know what I mean it's light in there but the brightest lights are on the court because you want to see the players and they need to video the game Now that's good, I like to do the rest kind of in color. I will do the walkway out.
I think I'm done. I'm gonna save the... I don't know what I want to do with this yet, so I'll save the fog effect for another time. Maybe I'll go back and do that once I've done colors. Because I might want to have it be overlaying the colors, put the fog on top of that. just to make sure there was nothing on the back.
road, yes, the road.
That looks good. Color will really make that pop because it's gonna be grass, bushes, trees, green Pennsylvania sign. I think this is like white with red letters. This is a road sign, more grass, trees, trees and grass, kind of creeping up, up along the city line. Cool. got time we'll keep going all right window reflection don't think I wanna um, use darks on that Sun going that way. I think to emphasize this and be funny, I'm going to do black around him so this panel really stands out. So I love this face so much. I'm okay with this slightly wavy, not perfect line. that his hat comes off of it too. The top. I'm 
want you to focus on his face so I'm getting rid of any possible distraction around him I think when I go in digital what I might do to get the beard back on the sides and the hair is do a white outline around the side of him on both sides and that will give us our beard back. <laughs> That's funny. Um, the scenery here to be relatively bland and kind of backgroundish. So we're going to use our road colors here and our grays here. Just can do kind of a in between type thing. <clears throat> Go back over that later and add it back.
that this black is a bit more washed out. I'm going to do that for the city. Closer to each other. Okay. I think that looks pretty decent. Let's might use some um, white for the popcorn trail. Forgot about that. Kind of
Yeah, I don't see anything else I really need to do on this page right now. Cool. Let that dry too. And I think we're all done for this week. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you want to check out my stuff, you can check it out at matchdaycomics.com. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments and I'll answer them either in the reply on the YouTube video or in the next session. Um, yeah, have a good week. Thanks for joining me.